Um, this is where Lizzie McGuire and Isabella kind of save each other on stage at the end of the Lizzie McGuire movie. I had never been in Italy before. I had never been to Italy, so getting to shoot a movie there was so much fun. One thing that keeps popping into my mind is that in this moment, I had no idea that in 2022, so many people would be dressing up like this for Halloween. I think it's part of the reason why I got the job is because I would always come in in these very mismatched, unique outfits with lots of things in my hair. And I think the producers were just like, they just got it. They were like, oh, she is in this moment in time and she's bold and she's, you know, very, she doesn't look like all the other kids. And that was something Lizzie constantly did. With, but I think it was pretty much taken from me and influenced by me and what I was doing in my life. I think something that was really special about the show was that at every ep at the end of every episode, there was kind of a lesson to be learned. I think I took a lot away from her and we had so many uh, similarities at the time just because we were the same age and kind of going through a lot of the same things slightly differently. Um, but just trying to always find a lesson um, throughout life. Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. Those low-rise jeans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are low. This is a clip from a Cinderella story. She's tired of him waiting to step up and do the right thing. I felt all different kinds of ways back then, um, but I, I think that I would try to remember it a little bit more. There's really big chunks of time that are completely just washed together, and and now they're having such moments, you know, and someone will be like, oh my God, it's the 20 year anniversary of this. And, the, and, and you're working so much in that time. Every day is a grind. It all washes together. And so it's hard to remember all the things that I've done until they get sent to me or brought up or it was documented. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember that, but I kind of don't. So I guess I would try to just be a little more present in the moment um, and realize some of the cool things that I've actually been through was today good extra or bullhorn to the ass extra? Really, a big famous reporter wants to hear about my stupid love life. <laughs> very, very much, actually. You know what, that was really cool, just having her on the show and I was nervous. I love to get nervous. It doesn't happen very often anymore. <laughs> you know, when you choose a project, you're just hoping that people connect to it the way that you did or that you envisioned. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and so, yeah, I was really nervous to carry a title like this that's so beloved by so many. Like, we're borrowing the format of this amazing show that, the, that, that was so loved. Uh, but it's a, it is a different show, and I think I had a little bit more of a settled feeling knowing that we weren't trying to like be like, well, the characters or the exact same things are happening. It's a much more modern take on what friends look like today and what 30 year olds are going through and yeah I mean it's worked so far so that's a big relief but For of course sure. it's scary going into a new project.